today we are in Sandbanks, probably home to the most expensive real estate, including some lovely golden sandy beaches that I'm gonna take you all around and have a little tour. But for now, let's just get walking and have a look around this beautiful peninsula today. Let's start our tour here. So, this is part of Paul Harbour and it's one of the largest harbours uh, compared to Sydney, I believe. So, yeah, pretty huge. And you can get your paddle boarding and kayaking when the tide has obviously gone out because it's, it's um, oh, so when the tide's gone, gone in, of course, um, should be bogged down. And just to our left is uh, Sandbanks Hotel. I believe some celebrities sometimes stay there. I think, or at least it is Sandbanks, so it's pretty expensive, so I presume so. It's just over here, Sandbanks Hotel. I'm likely gonna review this very soon as well, so do let me know in the comments if you want to see that. And if you do, make sure you hit subscribe, it always helps. Not too sure if it is a five-star hotel, but it does look pretty impressive. And obviously the views on the other side are amazing. And they've got um, balconies as well. They, I mean, they've seen better days by the looks of things, but yeah, it doesn't look too bad from the back. I mean, if you're staying in Sandbanks, Sandbanks Hotel kind of makes sense, doesn't it? They're making some new million pound, I'm guessing, apartments. I mean, wouldn't be surprised, they're huge. So I'm gonna take you to the most expensive street in Sandbanks, but before we do, I wanna show you the beach and show you how beautifully sandy this golden beach is because it's lovely. I'll tell you what, it's a very busy road. If you lived here, I can imagine it'd be quite loud. It's because the only way to get to Studland and Swanage is through the chain ferry. Again, I'm gonna show you that a bit later. Um, so, so yeah, and, th and there are generally bigger queues as well for people getting on the ferry. It was a shame really you pay a big bob for a house or something but it's very loud and noisy because of the roads bit of a letdown over in the distance is Brownsea islands really nice thing about that you can get the uh, boat from paul harbour and it'll take you to Brownsea island here we go so the beach is just down this way there's obviously different ways you can access it but this is a very nice way of entering the beach Play a game of crazy golf. It seems to be crazy golf in mini golf for always by the seaside. Can't complain, I do enjoy a bit of mini golf. And there's also some, uh, stuff as well if you've got kids and they want to play in the park while you're playing the game of mini golf or both. In my opinion, Bournemouth Beach, Sandbanks Beach, etc., one of my favourite beaches um, to go on. That's because I haven't been in here else really, but it's just golden sandy and it's lovely, so I can't really complain. And here we go. Here's the beach. Such a nice day for it as well. And obviously golden sand over in the distance. If you can see those rocks, it's Old Harry. And then we have Studland over there. And on the other side of that is Swanage. If you love hiking, like myself, or just a nice long walk, honestly, it's one of the nicest things you can do on a nice day. Just go over there and have a walk and have an ice cream. And over in the distance there is Bournemouth. So you only can go so far on that beach because it becomes a dead end because of the ferry. Um, in fact, that's the next thing I'm going to show you is where the chain ferry is. Of course, there'll probably be some nice houses on the way, but we'll go and check out the foot ferry and uh, go from there. Got some nice cafes and also Rickstein, um, Rickstein restaurant as well. So a famous restaurant, but the food's amazing there. How much does a piece of real estate cost then? So we've got 1.275 million. 2.25 million yeah 3.995 million 15 million yeah we can afford 15 million so some of those places were a few bob but also one was 15 million smackers i'm not too sure who has 15 million or what they do for a job but hey if you can afford it go for it so panorama road is one of the most expensive streets and it's apparently overtaken miami which is insane. 
There's supposedly 13 mansions, I guess you want to call them, and they top around 19, 93 million totally. That's mad. I may have missed something that I haven't seen the 13 houses, but I do know they're in this direction somewhere. Even still, I'm going to head towards the chain ferry, but some of these houses are lovely. Just love like the big doors and gates in some of these houses are really nice. It's obviously very secure. Um, yeah, I'm going to say nice a lot. They are really nice. There's a house I always used to call Purple House. And it is that absolutely incredible. Cool, so the chain ferry is just in this direction, literally to our left. And then we'll check that out. And then we'll have a look down this way, I think, because there's more um, larger houses. I think that's where like Harry Redknapp and stuff are. Um, if we can get there, I don't know, they might be blocked off or, you know, big walls and stuff, but it is in that direction. So normally this gets really busy with cars getting onto the ferries, but today it seems quite quiet. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so that's the Panorama Road, which we're going to go down with the 13 most expensive real estate. So you'll get the either a breezer bus or a car, walking, whatever. You get the ferry from here. And there's the price, it's one pound for a foot, one pound for a bike, and 5.30 for a car. There's the ferry. It's not the biggest ferry in the world, but it does the job. And it's only a short commute as well. You're gonna go from here to the other side, uh, which is Stutterland. And you can... the lottery would you buy a house in Sandbank or would you buy a house somewhere abroad or would you buy a house in the countryside so coming down here this is where the there's 13 um, harborside houses essentially and they top 93 million pounds I believe which is apparently it's more than, than Miami which is insane when you think about it They're absolutely huge, big doors. I think this one um, is 15 million and it's the most expensive, um, probably because of the sheer size of it. But unlike the other, um, but unlike the main street that we were walking on at the beginning, this is very quiet, which is quite nice. So you can have yourself a nice house and you can enjoy some peace and quiet. I'm guessing the musician lives there by the looks of a, uh, a keyboard. How cool is that? This one is absolutely massive. Absolutely huge. I'm quite a minimalistic person, so something the, like the size of this might be a bit too much. I'll half the house, which would be a bit of a waste, but they are lovely though. So there's a new one being built, wow. This house is probably my favourite, just because it kind of looks a bit Spanish looking, a bit, uh, yeah, just a bit nice. I like it. And there we are. Hope you enjoyed my little tour around Sandbanks. If you like this video and you want to see more like this, as well as hotels, go ahead and hit subscribe. It helps me out massively. Give me a thumbs up and hit that notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Until then, take care and I'll see you later.